We can figure out how the earth has evolved by reading rocks. But what about life? What can rocks tell us about early life? I'm the NYC Traveler, and we're at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. This information is from an exhibit at the American Museum of Natural History. As far as we know, our planet can support life as we know it now because it is the right size and distance from the sun. No one knows how life began exactly, but there are many theories based on the fossils and the rocks. Fossils are remains of things that lived in the past including impressions or even a trace. These fossils were found in rocks, helping to tell the story of how old the earth is and how it evolved. Stromatolites are mats of bacteria that can trap and precipitate sediments. They were common about 2.6 billion years ago. The seas were very shallow and there was no ozone layer. Life could only survive in water of a certain depth. It had to be shallow enough for the sun to shine through, but deep enough to block out the ultraviolet radiation. There are still some today. Our atmosphere today has oxygen so that we, as life, can survive. But what do we know about the early atmosphere? Some of the oldest sedimentary rocks are banded iron formations. There was little or no oxygen for these to form. This rock has banded iron formation with red jasper and iron magnetite. Way back in the day, the Earth's atmosphere did not have the oxygen that we have now. The life that was there generated it. That oxygen caused the iron in the oceans to precipitate out as iron oxide minerals. In other words, the iron became a solid form. These banded iron formations stopped forming about 1.7 billion years ago. This is because photosynthesis was happening by this time and put enough oxygen in the oceans to deplete the iron. Since there was no iron to remove the oxygen, the oxygen stayed in the atmosphere. You can see evidence of when there was no or little oxygen with rocks from lakes. Scientists think that the sun was less bright back then. Earth might have been getting less sunlight, but there was a greenhouse effect because of a high concentration of carbon dioxide keeping the surface warm. Sound familiar? But despite that, there were some periods of ice ages. Now that we have oxygen and sunlight to help with photosynthesis, we have a bit of life happening. Up, up until 1.2 billion years ago, Life was microbes, which are organisms that only have one cell. They made the environment better for organisms to become more complex, becoming jellyfish, worms, and sponges. Life was like this until animals with shells were formed about 560 million years ago. And so it went. And we know all of this because we were reading the rocks at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. I'm the NYC Traveler. <laughs>